What up, internet? Hey, this is, uh, where am I looking right there? This is Ryan Ryder's vlog, episode 013. Um, hesitant, I'm not feeling super well. I did like a bunch of, uh, uh, basically built the thing, I'll cut to it right now. And so you can see what I did over the weekend. And I don't know if like, whatever, I just, my body feels off. You know what I mean? But um, I, I just confirmed um, my guest for today for my podcast that I'm gonna record in a couple hours. Um, Terry from uh, Legion M. Um, so you'll see a lot of that. And I'm ex I'm I actually really excited. It's like my first like real guest that's not like a friend, you know, whatever. This is like a business acquaintance that I reached out to and asked to be on my show. And she said yes. So um, you're going to see that in a little bit. Like I said, I'm just like not vibing, not f really feeling it, like super tired been sleeping way more, like take naps and stuff like that. Like the last two days, it's weird. Um, but so you're not going to get a lot of like transitional shots of me driving, um, kind of like this. And, but, uh, hopefully, um, hopefully I can rally and you can see, uh, and see this interview. I am very excited. Although I may not look like it right now, but it's the truth. So anyway, um, that's coming up. Ryan Rogers vlog, zero, one, three, boom. See you soon. Let's do this. Back in business, baby. Hello. Welcome back, everybody. This is Rhino Riders Podcast, The Word. I am your host, Ryan McCoy, and I am joined today by a very special guest who decided to show up and help me out. Her name is Terry Luberoff. She is the COO of a company called Legion M. Um, I discovered Legion M at uh, the Sundance Film Festival this past year. I was very fascinated with their, um, just their, uh, the whole structure of basically what the company is and what they do. And, um, uh, immediately introduced myself to the you know whoever was there uh, followed up and now I'm here with uh, Terry and she was grace graceful enough and gracious enough to come and join me for my show so Terry thank you for being here thanks Ryan it's a pleasure thank you um, so Terry let's start off with um, Tell me about uh, Legion M. Sure. Like, so give give me the Legion M pitch. The you know, elevator pitch. Exactly. Yeah. yeah the elevator pitch <laughs> of Legion M, and then uh, maybe a little bit more of like you, what your specific role is, and and like and and how how you're helping to to move things along. Sure. Yeah. Well, Legion M is quite a unique company. In fact, we're the first of its kind. Uh, we're the world's first fan-owned entertainment company. And what that means is that we're using new equity crowdfunding laws from the Jobs Act. It's the Jumpstart Our Business Startups Act. And we are letting anybody who is a fan of film or TV or investing in early stage startups invest in our company. And it's the first time in 80 years that this has been allowed. 
So um, most of the startup growth in in our industry and uh, in American, well, worldwide uh, industry right now happens from the moment a company is started to the moment it IPOs. You know, you have a hundred, a thousand, ten thousand times growth, but if you're not an accredited investor, historically, you've been shut out of being able to participate in that. And it's not until a company IPOs and gets 5, 10, maybe on a really good year, 15% growth. Well, the government, as a response to Occupy Wall Street, said, oh, you're right, that's not fair. Let's, let's figure out how to let the average mom and pop, Main Street, American, salt of the earth person invest in startups so they can participate in that. Um, and that was the Jobs Act. So Legion M was the first company to launch an equity crowdfunding raise under the Jobs Act in May of 2016. Are there so the the that Jobs Act Legion M is the first in terms of like in our industry to kind of do that? But there are other startups that have uh, capitalized off of that Jobs Act. We were the f- we were the first co- company in the world to launch oh, really? under it. Yeah, not just oh, wow. entertainment, but the first company in the world to launch under a Title Three raise in the Jobs Act. So and how long ago? That was oh. only two years ago. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. I, th- I thought you guys. Yeah. Were pretty, pretty... So there are there are a couple of different levels of the Jobs Act, and it's all SEC controlled. But what's really important about it is it allows everybody to participate in startup growth. And Legion M is very transparent about the risks, you know, because most sure. companies, if you look at the statistics, most companies fail. And we tell people this is not a place to invest your you know, savings. your life savings yeah. Yeah, or yeah. your kids' college tuition money. But if you're interested in participating in a startup where you could potentially have a great return on your investment, this is a very easy and low-cost way to do it. Um, your movie recommendation. Mm. So I, I'm, it has to be like totally blatantly self-serving because it's, I, it's the only one I've seen in the past month, essentially. Um, but Bad Samaritan. <laughs> <laughs> Our movie ding, ding, coming, ding, 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 ding. So it comes out on May 4th. Uh, Is it going, what, what's the release? It's going to be wide in theaters nationwide. Um, and the reason is it, VO, is it same day VOD? No, no, no. It's it's a traditional. It, we're releasing it independently. I won't see it then until like September. You know that because it's not VOD. Yeah. <laughs> <Is that> why? <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, this is an this is Dean Devlin's first independent film since Stargate, um, and you know I really love the film to begin with. But the reason I would recommend it is because I've had the chance to see it with two audiences over the past two weeks. And people flip out over this movie. They're in the audience and they're jumping and they're screaming and they're laughing and they're well. Devlin, no. Here's the thing, and and like like storytelling stuff. Devlin knows how to construct it like an epic story. You know, seven act plot structure. Yeah, the narrative is so exactly, exactly. So like uh, that that makes perfect sense actually. But but it's it's. Restricted, confined within well, an it independent. Lives in, it lives in rules. Like yeah, he built exactly. rules for these world, for this world, and it lives within those rules. And how it plays out is how it would play out in real life. And they use technology for the first time in a long time. It's a movie that uses technology in a really smart way. They use it to drive the story forward rather than to have people say, "Why aren't they just picking up their cell phone and calling the cops?" Like they, oh, so like modern communication it's modern technology. Yeah. And it's smart. And Brandon Boyce wrote it. He wrote Apt Pupil, which is one of my all time favorite screenplays. I, I read his original Apt Pupil, which Who's is different director? than the movie. The, Brian Singer directed Apt Brian Apt Singer, Pupil. Yeah. yeah. Which I I love the film too, but Brandon Boyce is a, a huge talent. Um and it's really it's just a smart it's a smart thriller. I'm excited. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. I am too. What up, Rhino Riders Vlog, episode 013, just finished, off the air, just finished recording another episode of a podcast with um, with Terry from Legion M, um, it'll be coming out in two weeks, uh, short vlog, nothing super exciting, um, just wanted to get another one in, uh, give you guys a little tour of the office uh, we got going on a little green screen action beer pong fridge 
couches. That's recording space. Do, 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 do. Some other office spaces. A little meditation space. Um, super not fancy right now, but uh, we'll build on it, baby. Um, had I'll cut in some footage of of uh, of the podcast I just did with Terry, and um, she was great. Um, she was great. Very similar DNA to to how I am. Uh, I really just want to get, I want to help filmmakers, man. I want to help people get their movies made. Um, and there's so much that, uh, majority of people don't understand or, or maybe are afraid to do, or, um, I don't know. Uh, but I just want to get, I just want to get great films made. I want great storytelling back. Um, she also gave me this cool little Legion M thing. Go check out um, promo code Bad Samaritan. Go look at uh, check out their movie Bad Samaritan. I'm gonna link up the trailer down below. Um, that's it, guys. Sorry if this is a boring, stupid, short vlog, but, uh, like I said, just wanted to get one in. I knew I was going to be recording a podcast today, so I figured, um, might be cool for you guys to check it out. In the meantime, go make your movie. Rhino Rider out. Rhino Rider out.